Hello again and welcome to What's New, the program that deals with the latest fads, the latest ideas, the, the latest lifestyles of Americans careening headlong right into the 1980s. Now, today's program is one of which you might consider just a little bit controversial and even offensive when, heck, if that's your bag, well, you're all Americans, most of you, and just feel free to get up off your duff there and flip that dial to any darn channel you want to, all right? Enough said? All right, fair enough. Now, let me just start it off here by reading a, a newsletter here from a national organization called Parent Swap. Now, this is just one of the many classified ads you might read if you subscribe to a darn publication like this, all right? The thing reads as follows. White male Protestant, age 12, seek same for parent swapping. Seek liberal-minded couple who won't make me eat broccoli. Will exchange for my parents who don't mind loud music, reply confidential. Now, gosh darn it, this stuff is going on all over the country today, and by golly, we're going to do something about it right now. Because we're sitting in suburban... Just where in the heck are we? Montclair, thank you, Scotty. We're in Montclair, New Jersey, just a typical middle-class community, all right? And we're sitting in the home of Larry and Cindy Bailey. Now, Larry and Cindy have a son, Jimmy, but the boy sitting between them is not Jimmy, it's Stuart Valencia. Now, the other couple here, Sam and Connie Valencia, they are Stuart's parents. But the boy sitting between them is Jimmy Bailey. Are you with me on that so far? All right, then. Now, let me just say that both Jimmy and Stuart are parent swappers. Now, Stuart, let's just start with you. Stuart, how did a good-looking kid like yourself get started on this darn thing? Well, um, I had the same parents for like 15 years. That's an awful long time. Actually, I just couldn't stand my folks anymore. I mean, I loved them, but the magic had gone out of it. Mm. It was always wash your hair, wash your hands, take out the garbage, eat your spinach. Now, you know, you always complain that Jimmy Bailey's parents let him stay up till midnight, and mm. Jimmy Bailey's parents let him play pinball, mm. and Jimmy Bailey's parents this, Jimmy Bailey's parents that. And finally, we just got so sick of really? hearing about Jimmy Bailey's parents. Uh, no offense, of course. We told him to go, live with him. Well, the same was true for Jimsy here. I mean, he said that Stewie Valencia's parents let him read Playboy. Oh, we did not. I'm sure. Yeah. So we said finally, uh, well, if you want to go live with the Valencias, go ahead. All right, I'll accept every darn thing you said up to this point, but just correct me if I'm wrong here, all right? Mm -hmm. It seems to me I'm detecting from your answers here a certain underlying hostility. Is we that right? We are not hostile. We are very happy people. In fact, all I hear are the keys. Drive us home, please. Oh, you let him drive the car? Oh, yes. You never let me drive the now, car, Stewie. Stewie just bought you that 10-speed bike, yes, Stewie. Now, car. don't complain. Oh, but, Stewie, a 10-speed? Yes. Well, we put it on layaway for you, but by the time we paid it off, you were gone. I can't believe this. Tom, I waited all year for that bike. Well, you left us for a Playboy centerfold. Well, that seemed worth it at the time. Don't you get smart with her, young man, or you find out I'm strong enough to tan your hide. Yeah, Wait a minute, hold on. Mrs. You Bailey, Jimmy, is my responsibility, so you mind your own what? business. Hey, listen, buddy! Don't you talk to my mother no, like what? that! What? Do you I'm think you're my father? Wait a minute! Don't you right. talk to my Just father like that! Four eyes! Hey, Jimmy, and you're going to clean your room. Yes. It's not my room, it's Stewie's! Stewie, you go upstairs and do your chores, and then you can drive your bicycle. Oh, it's not my bike, it's Jimmy's! What is going on here? Um, if I came back, could I drive the car? Yes. And if, if I come back, can I have my bicycle, please? Of course, of course. Yeah. Well, there we see. The complete waste, the complete destruction, the complete breakdown of the nuclear family as we know it. Thanks for being with us, helping us prove to America that even in a great country like ours, there's room for this. That's it from all of us who work the late shift here at Montclair. Good night. Hero Sandwich will return after these messages.